Happy 420, everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about some wild stuff about Millie's 3D. We're going to be talking about how Niji Sanji didn't handle things properly. And maybe some other things, man. I don't know if I think about it. Check it out, man. Millie's 3D Live happened, and it didn't do as well as people expected. Well, I guess as well as Niji Sanji expected, because we all expected it to not do so well. This course did. I remember yesterday we were all going to say that, you know, things weren't doing so well for this one. Uh, I said that I was going to look into it, and here I am looking into it. We see the debuts here, the Rosumi debut. It peaked at uh, about 14.9, it looks like there, and hers peaked at 14.4. So that was still... A high one. I mean, for anybody, it's going to be high. But for Nidhi Sanji, what they were expecting, they were expecting maybe 20, 30K. They're expecting a lot higher uh, CCV. They were also expecting things to, you know, not be so bad in the PR department, but they really haven't done anything to try to fix it. A bit of a hot take, but Millie's 3D seems to have better cum cumulative view time. It got most of its viewers a third at the third mark and kept the audience for the rest of the show. Well, Rosemary's was a slower rise and peaked near the end. The stunt where she asked Super Chats and members post is a bit of a clown behavior, and pretending that she got free publicity from leakers is narcissistic. But the problematic, the performance is more of a flop than others. Is not more of a flop than others. Now, I do know, I do want to point out, that there are 3D lasted longer than usual, 10 whole extra minutes is questionable. Tell me, Squire, did she have Riku cutout board? Did you say that uh, Petra's 3D debut had about 10K more peak CCV, as well as Petra's getting more Super Chat money? So I don't think the cutout made a difference, but rather that Niji EN's general reputation has dropped with the additional drama that has occurred since Petra's debut. Yeah, uh, people like me and uh, others like Kyo and Eagle, uh, False ID are the ones who are bringing things like this out there. We're making sure that we keep them fully responsible for everything that they do. Uh, see, hey, by now, I would take the min salary for a day to give them PR training with just one message. Do not react to trolls and antis and on the net, and you will always lose. Because if you do, you always do lose. You almost feel bad that their managers and PR team isn't as capable because they're not very capable. I don't speak moon runes. What are those stats? Both graphs show CCV stats for Rosemi and, and Millie's 3D debut. So you can see the top graph, Rosemi's CCV peaked at the end of the stream with about 15k or so. While at the bottom graph, you see Millie's CCV peaked midway, about 13, 14.3k. She kept it more consistent, which, you know, is, I guess, good for her. And um, moving on, we have her 3D debut, uh, Super Chat Money coming in. This one that is shown here, the graph itself, shows a split between, you know, the amount of money given to her, uh, 22 Seventy-four point five six. Eleven hundred of that was U.S. dollar. Uh, the four forty-nine was the peso, and that was forty-four super chats. Eleven Taiwan dollars. Uh, super chats was two hundred thirty. Twenty super chats for yen was one hundred ninety-one. Canadian dollar was five super chats for one twenty-two, and Hong Kong dollar was three super chats for twenty-two thirty-seven. To be honest, the reason why super chat looks bad is because the whole context behind it. And we have, of course, Rosemary Lovelocks. She had 1822 as well, with 26 from the US dollar, 716, 578 from yen, Taiwan dollar 185, Canadian dollar 169, British pounds 56, and euro 25. Exactly. And we have Petra Gurin, which was before a lot of this stuff started happening. It was in the earlier stages of everything. It was one of the new wave of 3D debuts. So she got 2200 from uh, Japanese yen. She got, because she, I think she's beloved a lot more by the Japanese people. Uh, 624 for J US dollar, 136 for Taiwan dollar, 57 for Euro, 53 for peso and uh, the Philippine peso. And Hong Kong dollar was 2173 for 324985. So like this person is saying, it was a 3D, as everyone knows how expensive it can be to produce 3D content. So looking at the numbers, I feel like they didn't manage to get at least half the budget to produce the 3D. I believe it's going to divide into three, YouTube, agency, and talent. Yes, YouTube takes a third of that. And then at the end of that, um, Didi Sanji takes 50%. So at the end of everything, if this is the full amount that she's getting, she's probably going to be left with less than $1,000 uh, after she's definitely going to be left with less than $1,000 because it becomes something like 1600 or 1700 after um, the Nidhi, after the YouTube cut. Then Nidhi Sandy takes about half of that. So it's going to be about maybe eight to 900 bucks that she actually gets. And then there's, of course, taxes on that. So she gets very little. Uh, because it's a 3D debut, it's provided by Nidhi Sanji. Looking back at point one and two, Nidhi Sanji uh, looking at those little numbers and they then they frown. Higher chance if Ian survived after quarter four, they barely or rarely are ever going to get something like this ever again, especially if the results of the air live so poor. So they're going to focus more on other stuff and more profitable back and focus on merch. Unless Nidhi Sanji pull Hollow stuff by including the Ian members in the 3D live concert like Hollow Fest, that might be the time when Nidhi Ian going to do the 3D events altogether. Uh, who knows? 
who knows what's going to happen at this point. Speaking of events, Virtual Rhapsody seems Sprite also, except the fact that tickets for the new GM boys are all sold out. Uh, cheap copy and paste merch are probably the only way for saving Niji now. Yeah, anything that they can do cheaply is probably what, what's going to try to save them. Penguin Strong, I hope she realizes her self-worth. She deserves better. Same with Rosemi. Detailed information are included in the Petra Millie Rosemi end area. I didn't expect Petra to have such a huge JP fan base. Yeah, she's a little bit more beloved by the JP people. I do know that. Rosemi actually got more Japanese Super Chats than any others, but didn't total as much as the U.S. LPU forgot the memberships. Rosemi had 250, 300 after the after talk. Petra had 300, and Millie had about 1,000, 2,000 with after talk. So Millie ended up getting supported a lot more with um, the uh, memberships, and that would probably still end up. Let's assume the memberships are two or three bucks. Let's say the three bucks at $3,000. If a thousand of those dollars are taken away by YouTube because they take a 30% cut of everything, like a 33% cut. So that's $2,000 and half of that. She probably gets stuck with $1,000. So at the end of the day, she probably ended up getting something like $1,800 to $2,000 at the end of everything, which is nothing to sneeze at, but still not exactly what Nidhi Sanji wanted. We move on. This person says $1,800. Uh, and Fuawa and uh, Mokoko made about almost 20 k each. They made at least 15 k each. Um Right here, uh, we're going to look at what they say. They say, compared to Fuamoko's birthday stream two months ago, it's funny how to split up the birthday, extra profit. Most of the time, they're doing double work. I'm really happy for them after knowing their story. They did Go Go Nippon, which was the one that they had before. They were two, uh, basically, tourist sisters, uh, tour guides for your whole Japanese experience. And now they're this. Uh, for Millie, I don't know her, but find it quite weird to bash her for asking, begging for donations, when more or less the way to survive. Could you also add Hollow Stars 3-day debut numbers, please? And here are the Hollow Stars ones. Um, they didn't make as much. They made 5,000, 4,000, 4,000, 4,000, but still more. The one that made the least was Altair, I believe, uh, which is 22, 2,600, 2,300 down here as well for Minecraft. Altair, this is all just Altair. Uh, even his lowest, he seemed to have made around the same that that she made for her 3D. And his wasn't for 3D, his was for Minecraft. And here is um, another person that also is in Hollow Stars. Uh, 5,500, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000. 3000. So making more still. And yeah, people are comparing Mokoko and everything like that because she begged her community to throw Super Chat to her 3D debut. If she didn't beg, probably she wouldn't have earned 1.8K. That's probably very true. Begging worked. How much she got at the end after YouTube 50%, 45%, about 418 bucks according to this person. She flew out to Japan mocap 3D, right? And Kurosanji, if I remember correctly, doesn't cover travel expenses. So she gets reimbursed later, but they don't cover immediate travel expenses. So that's an issue that she's going to have. She really begged for that. It's unfair to compare a Niji 3D debut to a Neo Porte 3D stream because Hizuki Yui had 18k viewers. This is Neo Porte's uh, 3D stream, uh, 3900, um, pretty much at 18k peak, according to this person. It's fair to compare them, though, because fair game, oof for Millie, around 19k plus live viewers, barely 20k. So still, for Neo Porte, which is much smaller. Uh, people, the Filipinos, aren't liking her. They're saying, you know, beg for get super chats. Gets the lowest views in 3D debut amongst all the Kurosanji livers. You brought shame to your fellow Filipinos. I don't think that's why she brought shame. I think it's basically, you know, the things she's done in the past as well will do that. These people are, you know, speaking uh, Tagalog, I believe, as black as in Bernal. She's just like me for real, for real. Top us another Millie post. People are actually defending her uh, talk. And then it goes into uh, the uh, Tagalog. Uh, Canada can keep her now. The begging part was very embarrassing. Again, I believe it's more Tagalog. Uh, at this point, she's working for Kurosanji. No thoughts, wallet full. And again, Tagalog, I believe. I can't read it. I apologize. But uh, they're basically dissing her. That's a big diss from the community, of course, because that is the Filipino community. Uh, you would expect them to support her. You would expect them to, you know, be behind someone who is a Filipino and try and do hard. But also, remember, anybody, no matter nationality, will be against you if you're doing negative things. If you are making themselves be portrayed as something negative, if you are just doing things that does not look good in the community, doesn't matter if you're Filipino, Latino, or whatever, you will be mocked for this type of stuff, of course. And this is uh, something else that's going on here. Uh, this is something that I uh, found interesting, weird, whatever you want to call it. Uh, she's apparently uh, knocking on somebody or doing something to somebody uh, in regards to, uh, I don't know, looks like she's doing some kinky stuff to somebody and everyone's laughing of course but let's look at this yeah like really and of course um 
these are the people in the background. I think their name, their their heads were actually put there by Nidhi Sanji. I don't think it was like someone after the fact that put them there. But um, people are saying uh, this is how they treated. I feel like this is how they treated someone in the company. Even if there's just role play, it's very distasteful. We need context on the skit. Why is she whipping Reimu and the rest are just laughing? Whipping her fellow livers. Everyone in that room got whipped. Petra three times is her definition of something fun to do for a sleepover. Uh, that's just weird stuff. That's honestly just very weird. I don't think that's fun. I think that's just odd, especially to do it on a super chat. Now let's see what people are saying in regards to all this. It says, um, thanks for the context. I have no words. Doesn't help that the girls without 3D models in their faces. Yeah, like I was saying, this is... Um, not very good it was not something that i would ever do um maybe you know as a as a as a independent you can do that occasionally just as kind of like a skit uh but warn people that you're going to be doing that it's going to be you know named in the description that type of stuff out of context is very bad role play especially for a uh liver that is a part of a large organization like nidhi sanji a large company it's a bad look in general i don't even think i don't even know of any any independents that have done this at this felt tone deaf uh, in the current climate, when the black heck would within Niji thought this would be a good idea to allow someone to whip someone else. That kind of reminds people of a click. It reminds people of all the negative stuff that's been happening. There's something to be said about a uh, clown in a black company like Niji Sanji, but like claims be made more outside speculation. Uh, yeah, they probably didn't do this to Selene specifically, not this this exactly, but people are saying like the click, like the click probably did these things and you know, the... We do know that at some point, thanks to the leaker, or at least, you know, that's that's the assumption. It's, these are all assumptions. These are all um, narratives. These are all rats and stuff like that. So they're assumed that uh, Livers did actually go against um, Selene, according to what reports say. Of course, these are unconfirmed, but they did go against Selene after the last cup of coffee as to why she did it, why she did blah, blah, blah. And that could have caused extra stress for her. And Amelia are present. Guess who named Selene's legal document? I'll give you three guesses. So yeah, it's just, it's tone deaf, especially with the stuff that's going on with them. You, if you have bad PR about mistreating somebody, you don't go and make a whipping side of a stream. And here's more people talking about the whole situation. And uh, here's, you know, 19.5k watching versus uh 14k watching and this was just Sue better doing her regular stuff if i'm not mistaken this wasn't anything extremely like wow or it wasn't like a, a live per live like 3d for 3d only girl can beat super's normal streaming numbers in hollow en interesting anyhow uh monarch amelie's vtuber is currently streaming fallout 4 and has been fun watching the scuff queen play the scuff game sorry doki's still on hello kitty adventure if i run more than one stream myself i cannot follow both quite unfair comparison you're comparing clickers to celebrities what was what was that tonight? Yes, Millie was today, and it will be on the 27th. And Ray Moo is going to be on the 4th. We shall see how they do. Uh, it's not really a fair comparison. Most of Hollow JP girls are high CCV numbers, and VTubers in Japan are way more popular. And it even seeps into mainstream on occasion. Buddy, uh, way too unfair of a comparison. You chose someone who's far more popular. It's not actually saying it's an unfair comparison. It's just saying someone who's way more popular than someone to EN. So it's, it should be probably EN to EN. I can kind of give them that. Uh, but it, still, they got mogged by a duck. Um, it's just... Also, other things they tried to do to push uh, Millie's live up is by getting uh, some JP people in there to kind of bring the JP fan base into there. For my motto from JP, who's supposed to be on hiatus, suddenly appeared. Another could have suddenly trick to bait views. I think so. My motto is her Oshi, so I don't know. As a former Robin Jory, Millie's Kamiyoshi is my motto. She literally head over heels for him, so it's probably not a trick to bait viewers. Oh, okay. Well, that's, I mean, it could be either way. It could be either way. It could be a trick to bait viewers, or it could just be she got her Oshi and, um, I've seen people do that before, where if it's an Oshi, uh, they will take just at least for that moment, they will take away from their uh, their hiatus uh, to go do something like that. But we don't know with Nidhi Sanji, because Nidhi Sanji can be kind of actually pretty mean with things. I don't think so. If him showing up for view baiting, then some of the advertisements about him being a guest would be uh, made a few days prior. So either he just show up for real, or this segment is pre-recorded before his hiatus. He's Millie's Oshi and could simply have asked him to appear and him agreeing. Not everything has to be bait to convince people to watch. Exactly. It could just very well be. I Like I said, I've seen even, I think Hollow Live is the main one that I can compare it to because they're they're direct competitors. I've seen uh, from EN, like Callie and other people, do that where they show up. Um, even on like 3D Lives and actually live performances, yeah, sometimes people who are on hiatus show up to um, to their live performance, to the live singing because they were invited. And that happens. That happens in both Nidhi Sanji and Hololife. So I will give them this. It doesn't necessarily mean that they uh, were trying to bait anybody. The CCV lost. This was the the, um, the VSTAT 17K uh, for um, someone from Neoporte. The decline of Niji is that they're saying uh, is Hizuki Yui, the one that we talked about before, 
287k for their CCV, 14k for Millie. Uh, the fact that Niji Liver is increasingly being overtaken by these newcomers in Indies and the CCV is a phenomenon. It's, a, it's an incredible phenomenon. Don't forget who also came from there after they disbanded. Certain ringleader, Fennec, and Blue Dorito nowadays. Um, unless a miracle happens, Niji will suffer the same fate as Machinima. Very apt comparisons. Good one to be update, activate. Keys and Eyes, former company. Uh, basically, they're saying Polka came from act, update, activate into... Uh, into there as well. I believe that's what they're saying. Princess and the Ringleader, definitely successful with proper support. And, you know, basically, uh, we're having not good CCV numbers. I mean, for a big company, if it were a independent doing it this way, holy crap, 14K is insane. But people expected a lot more, and that's why people are dogging them for this now. Keizuki Yui is a really great singer, and she's also really funny. And, who boy, her laughter is contagious. Her cover songs are great. My personal favorite to cover is Daybreak's Frontline. It's really good. Her Daybreak Frontline is probably my favorite cover of the song. That does mean EGN is currently smaller than Neoporte now. And JP, though, will take a long while to decline. Yeah, the JP side is doing very well. Just being honest. JP side is doing very well. And one last little thing that I want to put up, up here is... Another little thing I want to put up here is Niji Sandy's unsuccessful uh, attempt to demonstrate their tech. They put like 12, this is, I'm going to shorten this up for you because this is a long one. They put 12 millis out, out there to try to show that, you know, they can do all this amazing stuff. But of course it costs more because they cost you per, they charge you per square uh, that you're going to be using of their space. So if you're using a larger square, which is more people, uh, they're going to charge you more if you're using someone else's mocap studio. Second part is that they're doing cool water and wave effects, which is what right here. They're saying that they're probably used, you know, uh, interns to do that kind of stuff, but it also costs more time and effort and the mocap studio will charge you more usually for that. Like you'll be charged more for all that kind of stuff. Um, they expose how little training their talents gets before 3D streams. Mocap is an art that needs extensive training to master in a one month crash course on dancing is not enough to get satisfactory results. Uh, mocap actors are more different from regular person. Uh, their movements are extra slick and springy to the point they look unnatural. This is necessary because mocap cameras capture at a limited frame rate. Exaggerated movements create more reference frames for the software to get a smoother and more powerful trajectory. I've seen that. If the actor moves exactly like a normal person, the results will always be choppy and weightless. Forget dancing as none of the talents are qualified to dance with mocap. At this point, figuring out how to walk and gesture smoothly would require a lot, a lot more training, which Nidhi Sandhi is not going to pay for. Nidhi Sandhi unsuccessfully tried, period. Investors wouldn't care. I can see them said, sure. So how much that translated to our revenue? Will you reach your projection? 5K bucks, take it or leave it. Interesting how Millie's video got the highest production value of all recent 3D videos. I wonder why it was, was, uh, wasn't was so for Resume or Petra. Uh, even though their 3D debut was a couple of weeks ago, it filmed at the same time. Wonder if it will be the same amount of effort for Enna. I wonder if it's because there's no favoritism in Nidhi Sanji. Also interesting, Petra and Millie's 3D debut while Rosemi isn't, uh, despite both having recently received their 3D debuts. Petra was in Millie's 3D debut, but Rosemi wasn't. So I guess she wasn't invited, is what they're saying. Rosemi has known Millie for longer than Petra has. She was collabing with Pomu, Millie, and Illyra in their PLs before Niji Eni was even a thing. So maybe there was some falling out. Maybe there was just too many people, and, and uh, she wasn't invited because it was already just too many people. We don't know. It could be that they recorded a long time ago. The segment with Rosemi in it could have been. could have also had Selene. Yeah, we don't know. There's a lot of speculation here. This is all speculation. Uh, Niji 3D equals Donkey Kong Country Season 2 quality. How Life Vishojo is post Transformers. Everyone else 3D Atlas game quality. A little dated, but it, does, it doesn't mean it's bad. You know, that type of stuff. All right, here goes what someone put out here. Uh, it says Kenji found out who doxed him. The whole group falls apart because they're involved. People find out that former Sayu for clout. She farmed Sayu for clout. Never apologized for it. He keeps twisting her words, sent his fan to attack her. He doubles down, accusing her of being a P. Uh, VTubers are taking his side. See, the thing is, in my recent video, the video before this one, I said that he is bad for ever doing this. He is bad for ever using that word because that word is reserved for the lowest of the low. He should never have used that word. He should never have uh, tried to dox her either because he did in the past uh, using PL information that chat gave him. Chat was digging a lot of stuff up and he actually read some of it on stream. That is very bad. You don't do that. That pretty much makes you a doctor at that point. And that is, that was in the time that Zion was having her issues that, you know, everyone was dogging on Zion at that time, Sayu. And I was one of the ones that in yesterday's video and videos before that, that I dogged him for that as well. I just wanted, when I mentioned the Kenji videos in the first time, I wanted to focus on the fact that he was being doxxed at this moment. But when the Sayu stuff came out, I did criticize him for it. I made sure to criticize him for it because that word, using that word, it's just, it's a low blow. It's way beyond low blow because you could absolutely damage someone's credibility, uh, their person, because people will actually go after them if they find out where they live. 
uh, the safety of their family, the safety of any children or significant others they have, the safety and credibility of themselves, their, um, their whole brand can get destroyed, their whole business can get destroyed. It's really bad. You only reserve that for the lowest of the low. People will actually do that kind of stuff. Drama tubers on Sayu's side, though, because they have to speak facts based on the receipts. Um, it's effed either way because they're just going to dismiss it because drama tubers are only doing it for views and attention. Apparently, even though Kenji did the exact scene by, by pulling the S he did, people asking who the F Kenji is. A lot of people around here asking who the F Kenji is. Name those so-called VTubers. And um, Ilara apparently is one. Uh, keeps getting W's. You're so real for this. Oh, Ilara. Oof. That's a big oof, Ilara. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't agree with that. I don't agree that this is a W. This is him doubling down on it. It's not necessarily a W. I can understand how frustrated he is. He's the kind of person who does these types of things. So I guess maybe uh, the people who are his fans, who are his diehard fans, could be like, oh yeah, that's great. But um, that's not a W. I said in my previous videos, it's like, in these types of situations, just don't say anything. In these types of situations, just stay quiet. If you're angry, then you're angry. But doubling down will just make your brand and yourself, just objectively, your brand and yourself look horrible which is what it's doing for kenji right now i don't think he cares but that's exactly what it's doing for kenji right now asking what the f is going on say is a neutral comment to be fair she however is, a, is a, she delete the tweet after his people caught her in 4k so ooh, ilara deleted this tweet oof so she didn't even back it up she deleted the tweet after she got caught doing this um yeah uh that's why i said kenji drama reeks of people drama farming and virtue signaling people will jump in to support him and then when kenji wanted to make a new harassment campaign they blindly support him to gain clout i didn't i mean I had a bad take originally saying that Sayu's uh, message was a bad timing, and that's why it was not necessarily great to do it. Uh, I stand by that it was bad timing, but I understand now the fact that he called her a P uh, doesn't matter the timing. At that point, the timing doesn't really matter. At that point, it's you were called a P, and that is something that even I would most likely dog on somebody if they are down and out. You know, I'd probably be like, dude, you're getting karma because you'd said this about me and it's not true. So I can definitely understand that part. But she lost her job, got harassed, docs, and almost lost her life. And people are, are doing it again. Measly sympathy for him. Uh, girl didn't even say anything personally negative about the guy. He was taking Kenji's side, one of the ones. And saw Sayu taking his side when Kenji was rage baiting on Twitter. Quite sad to see, honestly. I uh, do think Sayu is responsible for someone's R comments on the internet. Make no mistake. Kenji has 600k subs. Of course, his voice is louder. Fortunate, but what could we do anyways? If you try to reason with them and argue, even the post of forbidden evidence, uh, they will just brush it off as chat said it. No, I'm not brushing it off as chat said it. I mean, like, honestly, just being honest and uh, transparent here and objective here. If chat says those things, I would delete it, number one. Number two, I wouldn't repeat it on stream. If I did, I would erase it and delete it from the stream itself before it actually went public because um, you don't actually put those things out. And I would apologize for saying those things because you don't put those things out. You risk their family, you risk their safety, you risk their livelihood, you risk everything. You don't do that. A reminder, don't witch hunt just because someone doesn't have an adverse reaction to Kenji and laugh at him doesn't mean that they think he's right, not side with him. Everyone can have their opinion. Ilara can have her opinion, but that is not a, a great take overall, in my opinion. It wasn't a W on his part. Um, it was kind of like a clap back. I guess that's why some people could see it as a W, but it's not a W overall. And uh, of course, people are going back at him saying, you know, make a video about calling her a P and all this awful stuff. F that guy. Uh, VTuber likes, oh, you know, this person, Kenji, was was trying to cancel Zion. Uh, it says, son Kenji, I think you missed all the other P's in the VTuber community who also like to join about lollies. And this is, you know, everyone from Hololive, uh, Gura, all these other people uh, makes essay jokes about himself. So he talked about the R word here, you know, the R, the S R word stuff here and um of course that's that's a bad take that's a very bad take especially after the things that happen and you know information and all this kind of stuff um but yeah it was a bad take it was absolutely a bad take um and i'm glad that people are calling him out on this kind of stuff because you need to be called out um and of course not to excuse the channel but kenji's obviously race baiting to deflect from his actions uh why people watch or want the drama tubers beyond me terrible path to follow terrible people all around uh why is Kenji such a huge n-word why are people defending this you know blank again over uh cute Sayu I'm gonna re-upload his video don't give an f bitch uh gonna make our jokes is what he said and yeah he re he was gonna re-upload the thing that he mentioned about Zion back in the day um and that's not good that's definitely not good that's definitely not good uh look as far as I care wouldn't either 
uh, called neither the behavior exactly correct or reasonable, but being surprised that you will find someone on 4chan widely hate anyone or anything at the slightest or even no reason seems to be like he's never given the whole website before. The 4chaner is just, you know, being a 4chaner pretty much. So he's going to turn a log cow if he continues being so dumb. Uh, don't think he's being called that and yet he's avoiding the issue. Take responsibility for your actions. It's really hard for him. Bro does not have IQ for that. That's what people are saying here, at least. Why bro so mad at Sayu? Did she hurt his ego? Hard that hit her nerve? She called him out about being a karma, biting his butt. So that's why he's angry. He and Shan made a video where he accused her as being a P and mock her and some, and some doxxer. Lady also said the children need to be taken away from her. Never apologized. Video remained up for a year until February. He thought the community is supporting him after he painted himself a victim of dox attack. You know, so basically all the stuff that I mentioned before. Start dogpiling on him too, calling him double standard, especially how he made an R joke last week. Yeah, that was just really bad, man. Really bad. Don't think anyone can expect basic human decency on 4chan, but anyways, here's a pic of my cousin Chihuahua. Uh, bad actors will always use 4chan to deflect criticism. 4chan will always resort to using our uh, you know, racism to abuse uh, general critics and racist affiliations. Basically, 4chan is going to be 4chan. Um, he pulled a screenshot from 4chan. Obviously, they're going to call him slurs. Yeah, basically saying, like, of course, 4chan is going to be doing this. Of course, 4chan is known for doing that kind of stuff. Doesn't excuse it. Never will. Never will excuse it. But he went looking for that specifically. He went looking that specific for that specifically so that he can get uh, some more people on his side. You know, that's what it, that's the way it seems to me, objectively. It seems like that to me. It's not good to ever be called that. It's not good to ever be saying that kind of stuff. But if you look on 4chan, uh, if you're big enough and you look on 4chan, you're going to see slurs about you. You're going to see all the different types of R words being used, all the different types of racial slurs being used. You're going to see all that kind of stuff. And I'm not showing this picture here because this one actually has the words there. So I'm not going to show it. Do call someone a P over a joke and tells he hates drama tubers. Isn't his avatar a 4chan meme? Half of the people on Twitter complaining about 4chan do exactly the same or even worse. Why is Kenji ego browsing on 4chan? Is he actually dumb? Really is he? Because regardless of whoever you are, ego browsing on 4chan is a dumb idea. Again, because you're going to see a lot of hate on 4chan. N word and F word are standard phrases. How, how, how does this guy have 600k subs on YouTube but can't get even break 100k views on every video? Kenji should ask himself why people are watching him to get the answer he wants. The one who quoted Kenji could say the same for Kenji as well. People don't have hate groups against them be just because it's bad regardless, but makes one wonder why it exists in the first place. Of course, for all we know, he could have posted himself on 4chan and retweeted it a couple of hours later. You don't know. I mean, 4chan is quote unquote anonymous. So unless you get the IP, you won't know. So that's the thing with uh, with Kenji, all the new things that have happened, clarifications on everything, making sure everyone understands my point of view and, uh, you know, the way that I see it objectively. Here's another little thing I wanted to mention about Niji Sanji, among all these things. With Niji entering a decline phase, not only in Niji Yen, but also JP, subs are no longer growing in earnest. According to this weekly subs growth numbers just released on P2Y.JP, Niji has increased only 98,300, and furthermore, EN subs are in the decline are still going on. So here's the VTuber subscriber numbers for April 14th. Uh, the uh, Hololive still had a drop anyways. It was 215K, but it dropped. Isige Idol also dropped. Everyone's pretty much going down for that one. Uh, 98,500, it went up a little bit. Um, and Niji Sanji Project, any color. Niji Sanji EN uh, is at 14... 344 and in total of their whole organization they only had 98.5 which is below 100k that they had before and over here it's for the 21st this the week that we're in right now so far um again hollow live went up a little bit 219.5 they kept it pretty much the same Nidhi sanji is 98.3 it went down a bit again acg also went down a little bit mythic went up a little bit vspo went down a little bit all these numbers are basically these are the things that they used to do really well at and they don't aren't doing well right now uh, they used to do 200 to 400k per week last year. Uh, since there are many livers affiliated with them, it is not surprising that they have more Hololive and Vispo. I wouldn't say there's a boycott, but rather JP sisters are starting to get disillusioned by any color and their practices. And they're kind of just trying to do a wait and see, I think. Maybe not. I think it's just the Japanese viewer pool in Niji can draw from what's depleted. They haven't made any breakthroughs to gather new JP audience. Uh, that's true. After a while, your audience can kind of deplete itself. It can kind of just shorten itself a bit and not necessarily be... Uh, growing as much as it had before. You're going to have moments of, of lulls, moments of ups and downs, and that's a whole part of the way things work. A bit of a short one here. Anime Impulse, Nidhi Sanji meet and greet, sales updates, Vanta Crowbringer as of 420, 2024. Uh, of course, 420, lovely number. Happy 420. Um, still remains the only male liver to have completely sold out his meet and greet tickets. Um, Yuki Wilson, greedy till the end. I wonder how many cut, how much cut Nidhi Sanji will take of the sale. Older Ovid, 
as offer for me. Imagine only white dude showing up to Uki meet and greet for the lulls. So yeah, the uh, the only one is Vanchakuro. Everyone else is still, you know, I think uh, they said that the only other one who is Fulger is the only other one who sold any of their slots or sold out any of their slots. Everyone else isn't because, of course, Niji Yen is having their current meltdown right now. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.